Tiffany tells me that Peachy Keen is going to win the award for being the most excited company to be on Cooler Craft Live today, and we're excited to have them on. Peachy Keen Stamps is a unique clear stamp company. The stamps actually have a peach tint, and they stamp very crisp and clean. And Lisa's checking in live from the Peachy Keen booth. I'm going to turn this over to Lisa. Here she is. I'm at the Peachy Keen Stamp booth. We have Lori and Kathy. Hi, There's the ladies. <laughs> okay, and we are going to show you a really cute project using their Peachy Keen Stamps. Here's the little project she's going to show you how to make. Cute little notebook. All right, so take it away to the craft cam. Hi, everybody. Glad to be back. We're going to start out our project with the little die cut and the Peachy King stage, uh, face stamp. Kathy, can you tell us a little bit about the Peachy King? Peachy Keen face stamps and why they're so wonderful, because we love them. Peachy Keen stamps have a wonderful finish on them. They are a clear stamp. They're polymer. They have extra cling in the back, but also they stamp extremely crisp because we put these through an additional process with light finishing that gives them um, a non-stick surface. Some of the other clear stamps do have that, but ours do not. They also stamp very crisp, and you can see that by Lori's beautiful little peach here. And most people can, most people pick these up and they can do them immediately. However, the rubber stampers might press too hard. You really don't need to. You just need to tap, tap your ink and stamp. Give it one push down, and your image is usually just perfect. And like I said, any beginner stamper or rubber stamper can do this. Give us a try. Okay, we're going to go back to our little post-it notebook project here. And uh, we've already got our die cut. This started out as white cardstock. It was colored with Copic markers. And I had just started giving the little peach some cheeks. So we're going to finish the cheeks on our little peach with the Copic markers. I'm going to blend those out a little bit. Okay. So tell me again, the peach image was a die cut, and is all of that colored with the Copic, the leaves and the background and everything? Yes, I did everything with the Copic marker. Gorgeous, gorgeous everything work. Was, it started out white, and we did all the shading with the Copic marker, and for highlights, that's just an omission of color. We just that's gorgeous. didn't put color in those places. So we're going to do a little white gel pen here for the eyes. And then we're, uh, our project starts with a 7 and 3 eighths by 3 and 3 quarter inch piece of cardstock, and it's scored at 3 and an eighth, 3 and a half, and 3 and 7 eighths. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here, we're going to fold on our score lines. And I've got one here already scored. And then you're going to want to fold on the center score line. And, you're, and uh, three quarters of an inch down, you're going to take your scissors and make a snip up to the score line and then another snip, leaving about an inch in between. Okay, then we're going to take a little super tacky tape. We're going to run a strip of the super tacky tape right along the inside of the uh, largest piece there. There's a question in the chat room about whether these are available at archivers. Are there any of the chain stores that your products are in at this uh, time? No, we do not have, we don't actually sell to chain stores. We are um, selling solely to independent stores. Ah, there you go. Okay, I'm going to take the super tacky tape and stick that down. And then on our little fold, you can see that's where the pin holder part will pop up. See right there, that's where we'll put our pin on the finished project. Okay, so we've got cardstock already cut here. 
for the inside of the project. We're going to add just a few little dots on the bottom of the scallop with a white gel pen. Love those white gel pens. Look how oh. nice and smooth that is. Is that the jelly roll? That is the jelly roll mm -hmm. pen. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to add some pretty patterned paper. And yes, I do see the cheer in there. Yay for independence. Woohoo! Okay. Finish our assembly of this little project. Wow, that is a massive tape runner. <laughs> that is a Mondo, a heavy tape, runner. Mondo that's, tape runner. That's for a serious stamper. And we are serious stampers and serious about our peachy keen stamps. Okay, and before we do anything else, before I assemble it, I want to be sure we have the special stamp made for a CHA. It says, I had a peachy keen time at CHA 2010. You are such a clever marketeer. We had fun. These are our make and takes for the Super Show. So anybody coming to the Super Show, stop by and they can make one of these projects with us. I will be there. Okay. Hold that stamp up so people can see the back of it. Know the, the stamped image. Yeah, hold that up real nice and close. See how cute that is? Cute. Okay. So we're going to put our... Got about just like one or two minutes. Linda's in the queue. Assemble the rest of this. We're almost done. Use a couple of pop dots on the back of our adorable little peach here. Pop that peach. Pop that peach up. Oh, the sticky didn't come off. All right. I love how you use the, the score lines to create the pen holder. Yeah. That's really clever. It's a quick, easy little project. That was really and it's a great little easy. notebook to have in your purse. We use a little additional sticky strip. Oh, we for stickies! I love that. There. So now we're gonna go up to the crowd, up to the face cam. Yay! Oh. Look how cute that is. So thank you so much to the ladies at Peachy Keen, and thank you for everybody for being patient while we had some um, issues with the uh, internet service. And I'm gonna turn it back to Linda. Cheers to Peachy Keen! Thank you.